Some children have a specific difficulty learning math, so this might be learning times tables because they're not hearing the, the sequence of numbers or building up numbers. Some children find it very difficult to understanding the language of maths. Maths very much is a language. So understanding the consistency of plus and add and sum all mean the same thing. Take away, minus are the same thing. So making sure that what the language of maths is is going to be important. So children can have difficulty with the language of maths. They might find they learn to do the 2 plus 4, the numbers, but when they start doing problem solving, such as Johnny went down the street with 50p and had to buy two pears and three apples costing 3p and 2p each, the child finds it very difficult to extract what's the numbers you're being asked to do, whether it's an addition or a subtraction. So they may have been able to do 2 plus 3 when it's a number, but not do it when language is embedded. So this may be a symptom sign of language difficulties as opposed to just number difficulties. So it's important when we're looking at whether the child has got a maths difficulty, we've got to separate whether this is an understanding of language, the language of maths, whether it's about visual sequences, whether the child can remember instructions. So it could be auditory memory, two times two is four, not remembering those numbers, or a visual perceptual problem. They might not be able to see numbers being rotated around or see how numbers build up. So the fact that four is bigger than two or not be able to perceive a half divided into quarters or a whole into thirds, not be able to see those things, that might be a visual perceptual difficulty. Now, specific maths problems are called dyscalculia. And there are different people who might see a child, but the educational psychologist is going to be the usual person who will assess for maths difficulties. But if it does seem to be a language-based problem, it may be useful to see a speech and language therapist and if it's a visual perceptual problem, the occupational therapist might help as well. But usually the starting point is an educational psychologist.